What's up, besties? Welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you all so very much for being here with me. Y'all are incredible. Our last message, y'all, was super intense, um, but I'm glad y'all were here for it. I did take a little bit of a break um, just to kind of clear the vibe. Uh, today we're here. I'm picking up on some really fresh energy um, and it feels really good. So there's been some kind of clearing I'm feeling. Uh, maybe some of y'all are uh, just feeling a little bit like refreshed or cleansed or something. There feels like an infusion of very fresh, very beautiful energy coming through. So let's ring the sound bowl. We'll call in spirit and then we will get into your messages here. Okay. We'll see what's going on for you and see if anyone is popping into your energy. Because for some of you, I feel like this is uh, energy of new love. Okay. Not just romantic, but new love, a new lust for life. Like I said, fresh new energy coming through. Here we go, friends. Let's do this. I'm calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. Uh, may they help us on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much, spirit. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to check to see what fall, what's underneath the world energy, but this is a really good vibe to have around you right now. This lets me know that you are kind of removing yourself from, I don't want to say removing yourself from your situation or your life situation at the moment. You're kind of stepping back and you're observing things and you're, you're seeing your life, you're seeing your circumstances, you're seeing everything going on around you, even the world at large, okay, uh, from a higher perspective at this point in time. And I do feel that you have gained a lot of very valuable insights or maybe you've had some wonderful downloads coming through from spirit again just a fresh infusion of energy and you're looking at things very differently right now in your world what do we have the temple path nice i like to see that as well this gives me a vibe of you being on track okay the temple path is really about aligning with your spiritual path with where you're supposed to be at this time you know it is I love it I'm always drawn to the spiral path here um, and that tells me that you know it, it, it's a non-linear journey for you, right? We have ups, we have downs. Sometimes we feel confused. Sometimes we feel scared. Sometimes we don't know if we're on track. When this energy comes out, y'all, it does tell me that you are where you're supposed to be. All of your experiences have led you up to this moment and you're feeling very much in flow, okay? Um, and just kind of going with the flow, whatever, right? Like you are being highly led by your intuition and your spiritual uh, knowledge your spiritual path and journey. Okay, now what do we have here? Financial constraints. Why is that coming up? Y'all, this is like, okay, I, I, I guess I kind of understand it because the financial constraints energy, it's like sometimes, <laughs> you know, we can be going through some really difficult things in our world, in our life, or just again, the time we're living in, not so easy to navigate, right? A lot of you could be feeling financial pressure or maybe just feeling like, you don't have what it is that you desire at this moment, but stick with me. This is you feeling like you're seeing, th okay, you're seeing it from a different point of view at the moment. You're kind of going within and changing your mindset, okay? So even though you're, maybe you're like, okay, well, maybe I, I feel called to do a certain thing or go a certain place or, you know, experience something, but I don't necessarily have the resources for it at the moment. But you know that if you go and you pursue this one thing, that it's going to lead to prosperity or abundance, you know? Um, this is the kind of energy where it's like, you know, people say, oh, you shouldn't go out and do that right now. You can't really, maybe you can't really afford it or you can't really, uh, you don't have the skills necessary to to do that or whatever. It's, it's, it's kind of dealing with, you know, what it looks like on the 3D. You know that you're going to succeed. You know that you're going to have enough. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot to do with you having faith, not only in yourself, 
but in your own um, dreams, in your own manifestations, on your spiritual path and journey. So even though maybe from the outside of your world, it doesn't like a, an outsider looking in, it looks like, what do you have to be happy for? Why are you feeling so grateful? It doesn't look like this is going to work or it doesn't look like this is going to be a good idea. You're basically saying like, look, I can see the bigger picture and I know, I know that I am supposed to be doing this. So there is this uh, advice that is coming through very, very hot here from spirit saying like, you know, you don't listen to the naysayers. Okay. Don't listen to any naysayers. They don't know. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what's good for you. We have appreciation. Um, yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh, I love this. We have attachment and then cornucopia. So this is kind of just giving me an overall energy. I'm going to put it out there. Um, these, <laughs> we also have door to romance. I knew it. Okay. Um, this is like, you know, somebody here is just tired of the same old, same old. Maybe you're always dealing with people who are just not on your vibe, or maybe you're always uh, disappointed in dealing with the people that you feel like are around you. It's, there's this energy of being willing to expand um, and being willing to step out of your comfort zone, even though, like, again, people on the outside of your life looking in are going to be like, well, why are you doing that? That seems crazy. That seems crazy. This is nuts. Why would you do something like that? You're like, no, because I feel like this is, you know, what I need to be doing right now. I feel like I am being led to um, my manifestations. I feel like I am on track. Okay. So even though, uh, yeah, I, I just feel like you are getting rid of some kind of attachments here in your world. Now, whether that be the attachments here can speak to, uh, it really reminds me of devil energy, to be totally honest with you. So that can be uh, negative thinking, uh, ways of behaving, uh, changing our mindsets. It can be any addictions or relationships that we know aren't good for us or codependent relationships, things like that. So it's like you really are wanting something fresh, um, wanting something new. Uh, being willing to step out of that comfort zone in order to align with the people, places, and, and things that are absolutely right for you and the things that you desire, right? Your own manifestation. So you are leaving behind this mindset, um, ultimately a mindset, um, and maybe even relationships that just really keep you in a lower vibe, okay? Um, and keep you focused on what you don't have rather than what you are um, striving for, okay, which is the maximum abundance. Also, uh, with the door to romance here opening wide up, I do feel like there will be some new uh, energy infused into your love life. Now, I gotta say, for some of you, it will have to do with a very deep soul connection, maybe a soulmate or a twin flame with the yin yang. This usually is my twin flame. Um, card when it comes up in the energy. So for some of you, it will be someone completely new or it will be a new uh, new energy infused into a very long journey. Okay. That's what we've got so far. So I'm going to pull some tarot on it just to see uh, more specifics on, you know, where you are, what's going on and what is coming in for you. Okay. So um, let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, Spirit, show me what has brought... I might have to clear this out. I debated that. Hold on. I'm just going to clear this out for a second because it's just going to fly everywhere. We already know what the vibe is. Okay. So, um, Spirit, please tell me what brought us to this point right now. What brought our beautiful tribe to this point where it's like, I am ready. I am ready to change things up. I've, I see things differently. I've got this new energy, this new perspective. What has brought us to this point and where are we going? Let's do it. Okay. What's brought us to this point? We have the nine of wands. Look, the nine of wands is an energy of, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's kind of like, it gives the wounded warrior energy. Like I've been through so freaking much. I have worked so hard to get to this point where I feel like, you know, I can't take another fall. You know, I can't take another hit. I am so freaking tired of the same old, same old, something's got to give. Okay. This is the energy of something's got to give. Um, let's see, of course, that's what brought you to this point. So I just feel like that unwillingness to do things the same way or to experience the same, uh, lessons. Okay. With strength. Now I did mention that the attachment energy that we saw, 
uh, reminded me of the devil. And those of you who know uh, what we talk about is that whenever we are overcoming these negative attachments or the lower vibrational stuff that we cling to uh, that we know isn't good for us, it takes strength to overcome this energy. And so for me to see strength coming up for you, it tells me how freaking strong that you are, first of all. And it also tells me that you have successfully overcome um, that you, like like I said here with this, uh, I can't, something's got to give. I can't do the same things over and over again. This shows me that you have broken a cycle here. Okay. And it is so freaking positive because this is what's really going to, you're in this energy of strength right now. You are determined. You have that strength of will. You are not going to do the same things over and over again with the same people in the same places. Like you are ready for a major shift in your world here. Um, and it's looking good. Okay. So that's where you are right now. What is the energy here that's going to help you or any challenge that might come up? Okay. While well, you are navigating this, well, decision-making, okay, fine. We all have to make our choices. Um, the Two of Pentacles really decide, uh, it could be about, you know, having to move uh, money. I'm getting very specifically, sometimes Two of Pentacles is like, okay, remember we got the financial constraints, right? You may be, okay, well, I can't necessarily afford to do something, but I am going to make something happen. I might have to switch some money from this account to that account or this and that, whatever, or put off this and do this or whatever, okay? So it's decision-making as far as it comes down to resources, like how am I going to make this happen, okay? So that is okay. You, I'm moving things around, making something work. Um, again, you are guided to do so at this time. So again, even... From the outside perspective, you know, with someone close to you or people around you may be like, this is not a good time to be doing something like that. It's not a good time to be spending your money on this or whatever, investing in that. Okay, whatever, going on a trip, whatever the case is. You're going to be like, no, look, I know what's good for me. I This is going to be taken care of. You're doing something that is really demonstrating to spirit your faith in your new direction and your unwillingness to live in an energy of fear or lack. Okay. That's what it's giving. Right. And that's actually going to help you out. So if you feel like you need to move things around, um, or whatever, you know, make these decisions, even though it doesn't, again, from the outside perspective, someone looking into your life, it doesn't look like you're doing something that is very wise, but you know, the truth and only, you know, right. Only, you know, again, and three of wands. Here's the thing is like, you can see your success, right? Again, you have a lot of faith and it's unwavering at this point where it's like, you are 100% sure and 100% certain that this is the way to go and that you're going to see a payoff. Okay. So, um, just, there really is a lot of advice coming through. That's like, don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to people who, you know, they may have your best interest in heart. They may be trying to get you to think logically or practically because what you're doing doesn't seem very logical or practical to them. But you know what's true for you in your heart and you know what you are called to be doing at this time and no one can really tell you otherwise, okay? So uh, I feel like I want to tell you that you're right, okay? I want to tell you you're right. Um, you're on the right path. You're, on, you're doing the right things and these decisions you're making right now are going to lead to your success and a bunch Okay, we do have the Queen of Wands, we have the Moon, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. Let me just get one more out here, one more out, because in your heart, okay, two more, I guess. There we go. There's the Empress. What's at the bottom of the deck? The King of Pentacles. All right, look. What I see happening here, it's like in your heart of hearts and, you know, you are absolutely determined to follow this newfound energy, this new calling that you have, this in, this passion. Again, you're really connected to uh, what spirit is, where spirit is guiding you. And again, there's no one that, there's nothing that anyone can say, even though you may not exactly know um, the details of how things are going to work out, it will be revealed to you here with the moon. Um, <laughs> you will get the information that you need um, at the right time that you need it. Okay, so this is, I'm really reading on somebody who has ultimate faith in their own path, their own journey, their own calling, their own destiny, and just 
feeling like I've never felt so sure about anything in my life. That's what it feels like right now. Okay. So uh, we have the seven of pentacles here as well. This has been a long time coming. This is something that you've been, uh, you've planted seeds already. This isn't something that you're just like, um, even though it feels like new energy, it's more like new motivation. Okay. To get something done or to commit yourself to something, um, that is again, it, it seems illogical. <laughs> it seems illogical at this point in time, but it's not. Um, you are so passionate right now. And it's like, you've got the right energy. Um, you're on the right vibe. You are in tune to what it is that you truly desire. Okay. So you're, you may feel like you're extra powerful at this moment. Um, and now is the time to act. All right. So this is what it is. Um, not only is now the time to act. Okay. Because this is, again, it's been something that's a long time coming. You may have been trying to manifest this for a very long time. Um, um, and you're finally starting to see the payoff and you're finally starting to feel like, oh, it's going to work this time. Okay. So it's, it's a, it's a moment of being very highly motivated and just knowing, just pure knowing it's very good energy. Now, um, this could have something to do with a relationship and I will get there. Um, we will get there in a moment, but I just wanted to give the general energy because for some of you, this could be a project. It could be both. It could be a goal. It could be like, I've always wanted to travel or I've always wanted to invest in this business or I've always wanted to whatever. I've always wanted to be with this certain type of person. You know, you could be manifesting your dream relationship. Okay. Because we have the Empress. Um, and this feminine energy of creation, nurturing, growth, okay, beauty, appreciating the beauty in your world, and people appreciating you as well, the right people seeing you in the right light, um, it is actually just overwhelmingly gorgeous energy, okay, and because you're radiating this energy from a soul level, you are attracting all of the, the people and places and situations that recognize that beauty and appreciate that beauty within. Okay. Um, and obviously on the outside too. Yeah. But it's more like a soul vibe, right? It's a soul vibe, a soul connection. And with the King of Pentacles, this is somebody who is, um, very stable, very practical, very grounded, very mature. Um, this is, if we're talking about a relationship, this would be a really, really good match. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's where I feel like it's going into relationship mode. So just give me one second here uh, while I collect the energy <laughs> for myself. And we'll turn this into a little bit of a love direction. I'll get a different deck and we'll see what's coming in. Okay. Uh, because for some of you, it feels like you've either already met someone new. Maybe you have to go move to be with them or something like that. Again, there's something that feels very impractical around, um, <laughs> you know, again, people from the outside looking in, it doesn't feel like, you know, but you've got all these green flags. It feels like this is the time of green flags. It's go, it's go time, go time, go time. Okay. So let's have a look at what this means. Um, and some details here for a love relationship. Um, but if this is business, let's just close it out. If this is something business related or financially related, you know, just know that whatever this investment is, it's only going to grow if you nurture it. Okay. It's going to continue to grow. It's going to continue to build and the abundance is coming through. Okay. This is a very, very beautiful energy <laughs> and I am loving this. Um, and you know, side note, if you did tune into the last channel message that we did and it was a little bit tricky, um, but it was speaking to those of you who are in alignment, who have already been through a lot of turmoil and things like this in your life challenges. This is a time for you to be prosperous, even though unfortunately, a lot of people perhaps in your life or around you, again, even just the world over are going through difficulties. Okay, so let's not feel guilty about being in alignment with our time. Okay. Um, and, and that was just something that came through as a side note. So I'm just going to pause the read. I'm going to collect my energy, collect this energy, and I am going to, uh, pull from another deck in regards to a love relationship that is blossoming or about to blossom at this moment. Okay. So I cleared out the energy here. I pulled up the door to romance, yin yang, and underneath that was action. Now, like I stated previously, the new relationship. Um, it could be somebody that you've already connected to that you would feel is your 
like other half kind of an energy, right? Um, so for some of you, that's divinely guided soulmate, a twin flame. For others of you, this is somebody brand new, okay? Um, and you are being guided to take action towards this um, new relationship, okay? And there's new love coming in. There's new, there's fresh energy coming through, okay? Fresh energy coming through. So let's read on this. And it's going to be with somebody here who is, it's going to feel like this is your manifestation. So if you were wanting to meet someone new and you've been maybe putting out your checklist and saying, okay, this is the kind of person that I want. This is the kind of stuff that they like. This is what they do. This is what I like about them. This is what they like about me. You know, if you've been doing any kind of manifestation work around a relationship, this is you seeing that relationship come into fruition. Okay. So let's see. What is the energy around this new love vibe coming through for our beautiful tribe? What is the energy around it? Um, obviously you are being guided to take action. Okay. And they are being guided to act towards you. It's a mutual thing. Look at that first off the deck. First off the top of the deck here at the two of cups. This is what I'm talking about. This is a mutual love situation. This is not unrequited love. This is not an unfair, unbalanced situation. This is something that is equal reciprocity in love, give and take, and a, a very deep bond that is felt by both parties. Very beautiful. We have the seven of cups. Let's see. And the seven of swords. Look. There won't be any confusion here. Um, <laughs> I feel like here's the thing. If there was, if this is somebody that you already know, okay? Because for some of you, like I said, it's it, it can be either way, all right? Only you truly know your situation. Um, there is no more confusion. There are no more, there's no confusion. There's no sneakiness. There's no lies. There's no alter, ulterior motives in this connection. It is straight up. 100% a true love match, okay? There is none of this BS, and it's funny because I was looking at the bottom of the deck, I just took a peep, and I saw the Queen of Swords. Now, let me tell you why I can tell you that there will be no effery going on, okay? <laughs> I can tell you why. Because the Queen of Swords, first of all, you you have this ability, This um, you have this very clear insight and clear vision. You have very clear boundaries that you have uh, developed. Let me just say, okay, you've developed that you, and, and a very clear, like, I don't know, you'll be able to spot like your BS detector is on point. All right. So you would be able to tell if there were anything shady, if there was anything shady going on. I feel like you've already dealt with a lot of this in the past with the confusion and a little bit of the, sh the shady behavior, sneakiness, whatever. Nothing like that can get through to the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, especially with your back turned on all of this <laughs> um, here, it's like you have left that kind of stuff in the past. You can spot a red flag from a mile away. And it's like, again, I'm getting this green flags only, okay? Um, and you will, again, there's no mistaking. This feels like it's nothing but green flags. The go ahead. It is time for some of you with temperance. This can speak to reconciliation, right? Um, or, or if this is not someone that you've dealt with already, not necessarily reconciliation, it's an energy of coming into balance of things being fair of things being right, things being true, you being in a state of balance as well, where your heart and your head are on the same page. Okay. And you have worked through a lot of healing. A lot of painful situations in the past have been resolved. Okay. Reconciled within. Okay. So that you are ready for a beautiful connection, right? You are attracting um, this beautiful, loving, wonderful partnership into your world. I love it. Okay. I love it. All right. Tell me, um, what do you need to tell me, Spirit? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about this relationship. Um, any advice? What's going on? Tell me more. Tell me about the, tell me more. Just tell me more, please. I don't even really have a specific question. We have 33. We have 22. I just wanted to pull up those number sinks for you. <laughs> okay. What else is coming through with this new energy this new relationship what is this look at that ten of cups 
I'm getting goosebumps here, yo. This is like absolutely everything that you've been manifesting. Now, I know it just sounds so good and it does and it is because the Ten of Cups, it's like you, you know what you want, right? You know what you want. You're not going to settle for anything less. So the fact that you're getting such amazing vibes off of the situation, off of this person, off of this relationship, it's like you know that this is what you want. You are very clear about it. And the other person is very clear as well. And the two of you are creating this beautiful um, relationship. You're, you're both, you've both manifested one another is what it is, okay? You both see one another as being the one, you know? And that you both bring um, happiness and joy into each other's lives. It's very, very beautiful. It is very on the level. And again, no shadiness, no sneakiness, no lies, no confusion, no um, hot and cold on and off. None of that crap. Okay. None of that crap is coming through. This is a legit, beautiful bond that I see forming for you. Um, and it is born out of, you know, um, I don't want to say out of frustration. Yeah. With options and with situations that you've already been through. Like I said, in the end, the first part of the reading, I was like, you enough is enough. Okay. <laughs> you've kind of put your foot down. You you're like, okay, I know what is what now. Again, you just feel like somebody who really, really knows what it is you want. And again, um, you you're seeing nothing but green flags with this new infusion of romantic energy into your life. And it is just so beautiful. Okay. Um, what else do we have to, what else here? What else? What else? What else? What else? I saw the five of swords at the bottom of the deck, not going to lie. And, um, I immediately got to some, I immediately, uh, channeled some person who's like having regrets because you know, whatever you're moving on, but it is what it is. And I don't really want to invite that kind of an energy, the people who didn't treat you properly, the people who did play mind games or the people who were on and off, you know, they're going to see you moving forward, uh, and being very happy, <laughs> um, judgment, judgment coming out again. Okay. Listen, it came out in that last reading as well. And the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck looked and the four of wands. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. This is just so beautiful. Right. So, um, with the judgment, ace of pentacles, the four of wands, and I'm just quickly going to mention that the people again, who didn't treat you properly in the past, you know, who were playing games, stupid games. You, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. This is about to be their stupid prize um, because they're going to be sitting there watching you basically ride off into the freaking sunset, being extremely happy, fulfilled, and satisfied with uh, somebody who appreciates you, who loves you, who isn't playing games, who has all the green flags, you know? Again, you're just over over that era in your life where you accept anything less than the absolute best, okay? And that's what you're manifesting. That's what you're bringing in. With judgment here, it's like, I don't even have time. Um, I have no time. I have no desire. I have no... You're not even on the same timeline as these individuals, okay, who aren't on the same vibration as you anymore. You, you've you surpassed these people. You're leaving these uh, people, places, situations in the past, and it just is what it is. There's no room for uh, that kind of shit in your life anymore. <laughs> you just, and, it, and it's energetically, but it's also because you've made a decision. Okay, you've had some kind of wake-up call. Like I said, you're seeing things in, from a, a totally different perspective, right? If you go back to the beginning of the reading, I'm seeing that world energy that was coming up. And that's where you are. It's like, oh, I see I see the bigger picture, right? I see the bigger picture. Um, and I just don't. I'm just done. I'm just done. <laughs> okay. I love it. I love this energy. It's somebody who's like truly in alignment with where they are meant to be at this moment now. You are also bringing in the abundance into your world, right? You are having happiness. This new connection, right? Uh, this new infusion of energy, this new situation romantically, um, it is giving longevity here with the uh, judgment, with the uh, Ace of Pentacles and Four of Wands. This is like, this is going to be your life partner. There is going to be happiness, a solid foundation, joy, union, all right? This is the beginning of the rest of your life is that's what it feels like because with judgment there is no going back 
Okay, there is no going back to that time before, to the energy before, to that person before. Um, yeah, and that's where it kind of gets a little bit tricky for those of you who are experiencing a brand new cycle with somebody that you've already known. If that is the case here, that person has also evolved, okay? So that is the that is the, <laughs> the requirement, all right? So this isn't somebody who's still in a lower vibration. This isn't, you know, this is somebody who's been through spiritual awakenings as well, all right? This is somebody who knows what they want. This is somebody who's all about the green flags. You know, this is not someone who's coming in with gains. No game plan here. This is 100% green flags, go time, energy. Like I stated, the beginning of the next phase of your life, um, where you are getting what you want. Okay. That's what it feels like. And it is very, very beautiful. It is a 100% beautiful here. So, um, I will extend this cause we're already about a half an hour and I don't go too much past 30 minutes on the YouTube readings. So we will pop over to an extended. We'll find out, you know, what is so great about this person? What do you love so much about them? What do they love about you? Um, if this is somebody that you already know, we can, for those of you, uh, we can ask how this person has changed, how they've grown, how they've evolved. That's awesome. Um, and then we can see, you know, what, what else, what else is coming up here? Um, that you need to know. And, you know, if this is also, again, someone uh, coming back into your life who has absolutely gone through some changes, we can see what this person wants to say to you and things of that nature. Okay. So we're really going to explore it, see where this is all going to go. Um, and I'm really excited to get there. In the meantime, let's just get a love oracle here for you. Um, and I also just want to say thank you again for being here, all your energy exchange. All the support that you give to myself, the channel, each other in the comments. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and it just makes me feel so good and so blessed to be here with y'all. Um, also, I want to say uh, I'm going to reopen personals. Okay, I'm going to reopen personals. I just had to close them for a little bit because I had to go on a little mini trip. Um, and yeah, I'm back now. So we're going to open those up again. Um, but yes, so let's see what this says here. Okay. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do <laughs> for it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And this is what it is. Okay. There's some, maybe there's someone in your world who's saying, Oh, that does not sound like a good idea uh, to go and be with this person or to go and start a relationship or to do whatever you need to do right now. You don't make your decisions based on guilt or what you think or other people think you should do. Again, being true to yourself because you know what feels right. Who cares what other people have to say about it, okay? And that's what that is. All right, let's see. <laughs> we have healing. Nice, healing. Uh, this is a situation that's going to bring healing into you, your your loved ones, your relationships, yourself. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment, okay? Very nice, very nice energy here, and I am loving it. Okay, what's this one? Freedom, look at that, look at that, beautiful. Uh, there's nothing stopping you, the path is clear if you want it to be, okay? So again, this is something that you have made a decision to, that this is, this is it, this is it for you, okay? Um, and it's a very beautiful decision to make, and again, it looks like this is the right choice to, to pursue this relationship. Okay. It just, it's giving, oh, it's giving happily ever after vibes. Not going to lie. Okay. And we don't always get this kind of energy. So this is pretty exciting stuff. Anyway, um, anything you need like links, if you want to continue with me to the extended amazing. Um, yeah, if not, that's cool. We'll talk in the next reading. Um, uh, but yeah, everything you need will be in the description box below or pinned to the top of the comments. Y'all, I am sending you so much love and I'm just so happy to see this energy here for our beautiful collective. Take care and we'll speak again. Hey y'all, welcome to the extended. Thank you so very much for your energy exchange. I am super pumped to get into this. Uh, let's get some more details. I want to know what energy is around you and this person, uh, this person coming together, the two of you, uh, what is the energy around you two at the moment? Again, this is a very, very deep soul connection we're reading on. Eh, look at that connection. Of course it is. Look. <laughs>
Uh, your connection is eternal and unbreakable, okay? Whether or not this is somebody you're meeting for the first time you're connecting with, it is someone new, or this is somebody that you've already uh, shared, you already know about this connection, right? Um, it, like I said, both camps are totally welcome in this energy reading because it is a new infusion of energy here, right? So within this connection, your connection is eternal and unbreakable. This is the real deal, my friends. This is the real deal. All right, what else do we have? You Both of you appreciate this connection. Both of you are here. We also have challenges. All true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. And this is a true soul connection. So we're not saying that everything here is going to be rainbow, sunshine, kitten, and lo freaking lollipops. There will be challenges, but the two of you will work together to overcome any challenges that um, are laid upon your path. Okay, this is two people who are so committed to the connection um, that nothing is going to like, you know, I'm getting, I'm, I'm really called to the mountain here. It's like you, you will move mountains in order to make this work. Okay. Then we have commitment. Look at that. Yeah, this is it. This is it friends. Commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. Yep. Okay. All right. We also have moments thinking of special moments that brought you much joy with your partner or you're just currently both of you cannot stop thinking about each other at this moment. Okay. Um, especially, especially, I mean, I guess it's true for both camps as well, but if this is someone new and you're wondering, do they feel the same way? You're not going to have to wonder for too much longer. I got to tell you that because they absolutely do. They're thinking about you just as much as you're thinking about them. Okay. And the moments that y'all have created together already are very special to both of you. Okay. So this is very awesome. I love this reading. <laughs> I really do. This is so beautiful. Um, there will be commitment here in this relationship. That's without a doubt. Okay. So let's get into some of these fun details here, friends. Let's find out what it is that you like so much about them and what it is that they like so much about you and all that good stuff. So here we go. She said she was a beautiful way. 